Lesson three, we're going to be converting metric mass measurements. So remember our learning goal, go ahead and rate yourself at the beginning of the lesson. And mass is how heavy an object is. It's measured in grams. One kil kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Kilograms are heavier than grams, right? It takes 1,000 of these little grams to get to one kilogram. All right, so let's fill in this chart. So I know that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So what if I have three kilograms? Well, I would do 1,000, and I have three equal groups of 1,000. So you have 3,000. Now I have 4,000 grams. How many kilograms do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four groups of 1,000. Okay, I think we're starting to see the pattern. 17 kilograms would be 17,000 grams. 20 grams, right, get rid of the three zeros, 20 kilograms. 300 kilograms multiplied by 1,000 is 300 kilograms, or sorry, 300,000 grams. So, one kilogram and 500 grams, how many total grams is that equal to? I know that one kilogram is 1,000 grams, so I have 1,000 plus 500, 1,500, so it'd be 1,500 grams, okay? Three kilograms, well, I would just count three groups of 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, so 3,000 plus 715 grams. You get 3,715. 17 kilograms plus 84 grams is how many grams? Well, again, multiply this number by 1,000 so that you're working with grams. You have 17,084. All right? 25 kilograms plus 9 grams. So 25 times 1,000 plus 9. Two thousand nine grams. Okay? Now let's go the other way. So if I were to look at my thousands and then my grams, how many thousands do I have? I have seven thousands, right, because it's equal to a thousand, and then I have 481 grams. Okay, now let's do some subtraction. 3,715 minus 1,500. Okay, this is pretty easy peasy, but now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into kilograms in grams. Okay, so how many thousands do we have? We have two thousands and two hundred fifteen of the grams or the base unit. All right, one kilogram minus two hundred thirty seven. We cannot subtract this the way it is because the units are the same. Or sorry, not the same. The units are not the same. So we have to make the units the same. So one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams minus 237 grams. Now you can subtract. I'm going to do this vertically because we're going to have to do some regrouping. All right, seven from 10 is three, three from nine is equal to six, two from nine is equal to seven. So we have 763 grams, and we're not going to convert this because we don't have any numbers in the thousands place. For homework tonight, please solve these problems. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.